was singing early in the morning. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All stand. Sit. All stand. Sit. Stand. Sit. Some of you have not done this exercise for the past one week. All stand. Now, hands on your neighbor's shoulders. Please stretch your hand on your neighbor's shoulders. All right. Okay. Hands down. Please, I don't want that noise. SS1. Shh. Just keep quiet. Um, before we pray in the next two minutes, these following students, if you hear your name, just rush up here. Um, Phil and Philip. Ellen Philip, just to a Fast, 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 fast. Solomon Imaga. SS1B. Come and climb here, upstairs here. Princess Bumi um, Pukaj. SS3C. This Sandra, this Sandra. Sandra Drury, she does not always wear her school uniforms. I said it. Alpha. <laughs> Sandra Drury, JS3B. Eh? Uche Mwamodo, SS1B. Folorisho, Ewaba, SS2A. And lastly, Joy Eni, SS3A. The senior prefect told me that last Sunday, you were not here at the assembly ground. You are not here at the assembly ground last Sunday, so we are going to stand here to pray. Every, for all of his space and kneel down to pray. And this, this is a year of the rain. You don't flog a child in the rain. Otherwise, I would have flogged you. You are going to stand up, raise your hand. You are going to pray. Everybody will see you. sit stand, kneel down there. You call your father after school. I have your results, yeah? I have your results, yeah? All of you passed at your entrance examination. Put your hands together for yourselves. And like our founder and our chairman board of trustees, Allah Tunde King and Yeni declared, may you all pass in the exam of life. In Jesus' name. May you all pass in the exam of life, irrespective. In Jesus' name. Now, Isaiah 51 verse 3. Senior Prefect, thank you very much for doing a good job. 
Isaiah 51 verse 3. I have less than two minutes. Let's pray. Isaiah 51 verse 3. Praise the name of Jesus. It's a, year, it's a month of thanksgiving. Continued praise in Jesus' name. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Now let's do it like the way our, man, our pastor taught us. For the Lord will come, say with me, for the Lord will comfort Jasper. If you forget your name, mention my name. For the Lord will comfort Jasper. Oh, the Lord has comforted Jasper. He has comforted all my worst places. He has made my wilderness like Eden. My desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness is found in me. Thanksgiving and voice of melody will not cease in my habitation. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and give God praise. Robo Sharali Mazanda. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for joy. We thank you for thanksgiving. We thank you for melody. We thank you for comfort. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for making the good places straight. We thank you. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you the glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lift your hands and give you praise for having passed in the exam of life for having passed everything the Lord has brought you away in the name of the Lord Jesus we give you the glory and we give you the praise in the name of Jesus Christ we pray Amen attention at ease let's invite the school choir thank you very much come on grace we'll give Jesus praise Come on, is that the best child you've got in you this morning? If you're excited to be at the casual service, come on, lift up your voice and shout! So as a Graceville Praise Prefect this morning, <laughs> Graceville Academy, ROG, so we're going to greet and we go into our praise and worship. Class greet. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, students. Come on, somebody give Jesus a shout.
Exactly, do you want me to explain to you that I mean wealth? The future I see for you is filled with good and not evil, it's so bright. But the path you're taking right now will not lead you there.
Hallelujah. Can we please celebrate ROG? ROG Academy. Amen. Please help me look to your left, to your right. Let me ask your neighbor, what school are you from? Which school are you teaching on this Graceville Academy Day? <laughs> We're looking good. I've been laughing since morning. At this junction, I think uh, it's about time we celebrate the owner of the school and our CEO of the Graceville Academy this morning, the University of Laughter. <laughs> Pastor Latude Ayeni, please help me celebrate. It's looking so good. Cameras, boosts. <laughs> and Pastor Sharon, <laughs> please help me celebrate Pastor Sharon too. She has put on her glasses. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> so they have come to take records. And the elders, if they have come to take. Have <laughs> Please do take your seats. Oh, <laughs> today is so interesting. I've been laughing since morning. <laughs> We're looking good. Hallelujah. Uh, have you seen El Elder Lake on this morning? <laughs> looking like a typical village teacher, <laughs> village headmaster. <laughs> Praise God. Are we excited this morning? Are we set for what God is going to do this morning? Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap of him. Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap of him. Oh, celebrate Jesus with a clap of him. The God who made it possible in spite of the rain. We are grateful to God. Hallelujah. Please have your wonderful seats in Jesus' name. Amen. More and more laughter will be part of our lives this year in the name of Jesus. We'll be laughing and crossing over in Jesus' name. Welcome to Graceville Christian Center. This is where favor overcomes labor, grace supersedes sweat, and mercy triumphs over judgment. The year 2023 has been declared our year of the rain. Hallelujah. Please listen to this following announcement. Good news. Our grace shop is here again. Let's celebrate Jesus. Amen. What is happening outside will never be a part of Graceville Christian Center. Our case is a different case. So we are receiving donations towards the grace shop. Items like foodstuff, clothing, shoes, Household items, etc., can be brought to church office or given to care team. Thank you and God bless you. So, household um, items, clothing, shoes, foodstuffs, very important for the celebration period. And I was expecting that there would be fuel. <laughs> fuel and diesel. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, let's get set, prepare. Don't bring the worst, bring the best. If you are bringing clothes, dry clean them so that the person who's going to take them will bless you from his or her heart. And God will bless you too in Jesus' name. Please make sure it is the best. Put it in the best shape and bring it to either church office or give the care team. Thank you and God bless you. To that effect, the following... Teachers should wait behind and see the, our, the owner of the school, <laughs> the proprietor, <laughs> and see the proprietor after service. <laughs> okay, after school, after classes. Uh -huh. We are trying to be students here so that we can, uh, I won't fall out of place. All right. <laughs> Teacher, Mr. Niyi Bankole. Principal, Pastor Sarah Gonto. <laughs> Elder Jasper Obuna. Elder Tina. Uh, uh, you don't want me to give advice. I should just be. Uh, eh? Oh, teacher. I should use teacher. Okay. Teacher, Elder. Uh, okay, I should just use teacher. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> teacher Jasper Obuna. 
teacher Tina Agumo and teacher Victor Osawe. No, uh, Victor is a student. Huh? Uh, he, he's in SS. Okay, Victor Adewi. Sorry, Victor Adewi. I think it's a mistake here. Victor Adewi. Praise the name of the Lord. Please see the proprietor after service, after, after school. Thank you for the correction. It's okay now. Allow me to give an announcement now. Uh, I don't try. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying seriously here to there. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Another good news. Our Christmas carol comes up on the Sunday 17th of December. Sunday 17th of December. 2023, the colors of the day are white and a touch of purple, or purple with a touch of white. I repeat, the colors of the day are white with a touch of purple, or purple with a touch of white. Did we get that? Students, did we get that? Teachers, did we get that? Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Another good news. We begin prayers for 2024 from the Wednesday, 29th of November. That's this Wednesday. This Wednesday and every Wednesday till the end of the year, we'll be praying for 2024. All the Wednesdays in December, save one. We'll be praying for 2024 and God will bless us in Jesus' name. Sunday services still hold. Uh, and by his service. Uh, this uh, is church now I'm talking about. <laughs> Sunday services still holds 9 a.m. Ensure to bring someone and let's fellowship to, together in God's presence. Our extraordinary one-hour service, Expignosis, still holds on Sundays. And this coming Sunday, it's, it will still hold. Invite someone within your reach from 7.45 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. at the Alpha Hall. I'm sure we were blessed. We were even so blessed this morning. And we'll be blessed, we've been blessed by the teachings that Pastor has been bringing our way and it has been life transforming. So if you, if you are not available, please go on YouTube, watch those teachings in Bible in our hearts, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Follow us on social media at Graceville CC. Like, comment, share all church posts. This is our seasons of celebration. And don't forget, we well, our month of continual praise, and we're gradually diving into our month of testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. Follow Pastor T on Instagram at, at Pastor Tunde INA Official, and on Facebook at INA Tunde. The Lord bless and keep us in Jesus' name. Once again, you are welcome to the University of Laughter. I hope you experience the school runs today in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap offering. All other announcements will be passed by our proprietor. Okay. Choir, the hymn. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Welcome to University of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's be, be on our feet for the hymn. loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so.
<laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. I came here with a file for the secondary school. Grace V Secondary School. That is where all the announcements will be made today. So, if you don't make, if nothing concerns you here, you have to leave the school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's celebrate those who put together today's event, man. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. And uh, choir that repertoire of hymns. That was good. That was creative. God bless you. Uh, the song you did earlier on was done by, uh, who, who wrote that song? Oh, prison man. Okay, the guy I was supposed to say about two weeks ago. Okay, I'm sure we're going to have him shortly. But that was good. That was good. That was good. That was very good. Praise God. It sounds it sound like something you wrote. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like what you have written. Glory be to God forevermore. Okay, please greet your neighbor warmly. Then you're happy to see them. Please. Okay, let's do a song before you sit down. Let's do a song. Let's do a song. Wherever you go, wherever you be, that's <laughs> where you are meant to say. meant to say no. Not where you mean to say no. Where you are meant to say no. Meant to say no. No, the way you mean to say no, 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 no. They are, you know, they were teaching children about values, choices, making the right choices. There are some things you are meant to say no to. A lot of people cry victims. You didn't say no. And your no can be anointed. If you say no, God will back you up. Are you hearing me? Because whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. God is waiting for you to. God will back you up with your no. If you say no to poverty, God will back you up. If you say no to lack, God will back you up. If you say no to sickness, God will back you up. Don't say yes to what you are meant to say no. If it's not in the kingdom, reject it. Reject it. If it's not in the kingdom, reject it. This is not a part what Christ died for to provide. Reject it. If it's not part of the new covenant, reject it. Is somebody hearing me right now? As long as you can tolerate, tolerate it, it will live with you. A lot of people play the victim. You don't need to play the victim. When your heart says yes to something, God will back you up on it. Nobody was born to be rich. Nobody was born to be poor. People say yes to poverty. People say yes to riches. What some of us, our problem is the foundation we have. Or the foundation we had. They always warning us against being rich, against rich people. Your parents will tell you about rich people. No, they are bad people. You will stay away from rich people. Their hands are not clean. One of the greatest things that will lead you to quickest sin is poverty. They call your power of choice and your values are weakened. Glory be to God forevermore. 
Maybe our parents were trying to excuse their poverty. Maybe they were trying to excuse their poverty. But the Bible says, the Bible says, the rich and the poor meet together, but the Lord made both of them. He didn't make, make, make any of them rich and any of them poor. He created them as human beings. They decided to be rich or to be poor. Because even the king feeds from the earth. Even the king feeds from the feed. Nobody came with money from heaven. They got it here. If they got it here, you can also get it here. Yes, sir, it is. You can get it here. May your days of suffering, the day of management, let it, let it end in the name of Jesus Christ. May you live a life of contribution in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you be a blessing to your community, a blessing to other people in the mighty name. Because of you, somebody will go to school. Because of you, somebody will feed. Because of somebody will be housed. Because of you, somebody will go to hospital. Because somebody will be taken care of in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Let's celebrate Jesus and we'll take our seat. Hallelujah! God bless you. Thank you very much. Our school band. Let's celebrate Pastor Jasper. He took, off, took us off on a very good note today. Hallelujah. So please, once again, after service, I would like to see Mr. Nii Bankole, Pastor Sarah Gonto, uh, Jasper Ogbona, Tina Agumo, Victor, not Victor Sanwe, it's Victor Adewi. Is that all right? Praise God. So now, uh, the following students are getting married. <laughs> The following students are getting married. <laughs> they have attended the premarital classes and they are going to get married. Some of them are in church, some of them are not here. But this morning, please, Brother Matthew Drojaye of Chariot Team and Happiness Udokan. Happiness Udokan. Can you please come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward? Clap for them as they make their way, clap for them. Brother Matthew, you are, this is not overdue. I was even suspecting you at a time. That is the gearbox working, but thank God that the gearbox is working. What? Why are you looking at me like that? No, why are you looking at me? Why are all of you looking at me? All of you see, the problem with some of you, you are just pretenders. You are just pretenders. When a man or brother Matthew has not married, are you not going to be, be worried? I knew when he had hairs now, he doesn't have any hair again. And, and I, sh I should not be worried. I'm, I, I, but now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much. After the wedding, I will ask you, my sister, how far? <laughs> Is the gearbox working? Well, let's go. Another student here, Claire Stevens and Bensi Idoko. My baby girl is getting married. Oh no, may the Lord go with you. Uh, I feel sorry, honestly, you are so young. Bensi, where are you? <laughs> Bensie, that was a <laughs> good morning. Okay, praise God. Of course, uh, Simi Pam. Where is similarity? Uh, where is she? Okay, see me, see me shy forever and never. <laughs> see me, this see me shy of what? Hey, see me doesn't know. I look at a prayer point every year. 
This husband has been in prayer point for almost 10 years. I know her handwriting. I know the, she's looking curious. I was just joking. Get out. <laughs> Let's go to the next day, okay? We also announced the wedding of Mary and Noma and Beatrice Medawa. Hallelujah. Are they in church? They are not in church. Oh, they travel. Okay, I think, yes, they are having it in somewhere in um, Kirby State. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no problem. When they come, we will introduce them to you. Is that all right? Praise God. We say congratulations to all of you. Sister Udokan. Have you not your name? She's keeping quiet. Claire. <laughs> you just want to clear this man. <laughs> <laughs> See, Miss Husband is in Joss. He attends Pastor Duncan's church. Okay, I've been in touch with the church and um, he can't make it down. But the, when, when is the wedding? See me again. Tell me. 16th, yeah, on our 16th. I that's our new Caro, Caro Sunday, right? No, yeah, 17th is our Caro, Saturday before. Okay, praise God. Okay, so I will invite the vice principal to come and pray for you of the school. Welcome, my wife. Uh, who else will be the vice principal? See you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me be serious in the house of God. <laughs> yeah, you may be seated, please, please. So I just want to say a big congratulations to each and every one of you. Um, I, I, my heart is, is, is blessed because you guys are, are doing a good thing. You're getting married. And we praise God that that day will be awesome. I know that um, I've I am part of the counselors for the marriage premarital classes. So it's been my privilege to meet happiness. Obviously, um, Brother Matthew, Claire, and Benson. And obviously, I know Simi from way back. So a big congratulations to each and every one of you. Okay, can we stretch out our hands and let's just pray for them? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because these ones are your children, Lord. And as they plan to get married, Father God, we know they're doing a good thing, a great thing in the sight of the Lord. Father God, right now we commit each and every one of them into your hands. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you've gone ahead and prepared a great um, place for them in the city in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your anointing, your anointing on the men represented here to be a good husband, the anointing of the women represented here to be a good wife. And we know, Father God, that you will provide for them and their households in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for that day, Father God, for their wedding day. We declare that no weapon formed against any of these will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, family members, friends that travel for their wedding, Father God, no incident or accident will befall them on the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your provision, for providing everything that they need to, to have a wonderful wedding day and an awesome marriage life. We give you praise. Thank you, Father God. We commit them into your holy hand. We commit them in, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for keeping these ones, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Send me to Benson. Congratulations. Blair. We're looking forward to that day. Brother Matthew, how are you doing? Happiness. Looking great. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Pastor Steve. Now, good day. Yeah. 
please let all acts of indiscipline cease. <laughs> please, like Pastor Steve announced earlier on, the prayer for 20, towards 2024 will start this Wednesday. Is that all right? Yeah. Uh, we would, if uh, we are going to be praying every Wednesday till leading to Christmas. Is that all right? Yeah. Then, if I need to announce extra days, I will announce extra days. Is that all right? For now, we're kicking off this Wednesday. Is that okay? So make sure you're around. Let's begin to pray, okay? Our prayer is an investment in the future. Is that all right? So we, 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 we do that and um, praise God. And uh, we are so happy to have loud voice with us this morning. God bless you. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. And of course, Charlie White is also here. You can't miss him. Hallelujah. If they take light here, we'll still have light because of Charlie White. Praise God. Yeah. And of course, my dear own, my brother in Christ, why beat? <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay. Um, let me just uh, not, because of my time, I'm supposed to have finished by now because of different things so that we don't close too late. I don't, and I don't know where rain came from <laughs> in November. November ending. It's the year of the rain, though. <laughs> ah, ah. It fell yesterday, seriously. It fell this Monday again. That we have to be believing God. Hallelujah. Glory. So, you know, because of time, I will change my teaching a little bit. Just a little, so that we can just uh, be able to accommodate. Uh, I don't want to go too long. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Just tie to it. Let me just change it. Tie to it. Number one reason I praise God. Number one, number one reason I praise God. Or should we t- say two? No, no, sorry. Write again. No, t- don't worry. Now I'm thinking on my feet. Let me write it again. Two major reasons I praise God. So let me tell you one. Uh, two major, not reasons, so two major reasons why I praise God. And it should be the two major reasons also why you praise God. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. And I'll be fast, very, very fast about it. So Heavenly Father, we thank for the supply of your spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all trans time, for the grace to understand, capacity to do your word. We give you all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you know that laughter is good for you? So this man, I want you to prepare to laugh. Just relax. Are you hearing me? God is in your case. And the Lord will see you through. Amen. Jesus said, my father walked here too, and I'm also walking. God may not tell you what he's doing, but if if we walk in faith, eventually you will see what he is doing. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Let me tell you two major reasons why we praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just start by reading something. I'll just, just, just a foundation scripture. Go to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Philippians 4, 4. Sorry, I I want to read my wig. It's, it, it, it's very hot. <laughs> Women are really enduring. <laughs> Kai, sorry. Oh. Sister Lydia, sorry. Oh. Are you hearing me? Pastor Sarah, sorry. The Lord is your strength. Auntie Shola, sorry. Honestly, accept my sincere sympathies. Are you hearing me? This is suffering. <laughs> it's as if they are cooking on my head. Over what? <laughs> because I want to look like Christopher. <laughs> I want to look like me now. Ah! If you see the breeze, where hit my head? Ah! Wait it. Amen. And this is how you will live night and day. Ah! May the Lord strengthen you. <laughs> wow. Ah, let 
me remove everything. <laughs> if it gets hot, I will remove the trousers. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Let's read together. One, two, go. One, two, go. Everybody, let's read. One, two, go. Rejoice in the Lord. How many times? How? Oh. Again, I say what? Now, if you tell someone to rejoice in the Lord always, where should we again come? I thought that always should have covered everything. Rejoice in the Lord what? Always. It now goes back that in case your own always finishes, go back again. I thought always should, should, should cover everything. In case you didn't, it said rejoice in the Lord what? Always. And in case as you are rejoicing, you omit anything. Go back again and do what? And rejoice. Hallelujah. Praising the Lord. Always. Always. Praising the Lord. Always. Always. Oh, 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 praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Oh. It says rejoice in the Lord many times. What? Always. Again, I say what? Rejoice. Why should I rejoice in the Lord always? Why? Number one. Number one reason. Everybody who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ should do this one. I rejoice in the Lord always because, number one, I am saved. I know you didn't come to church this morning with the right car. You didn't eat the right food. You didn't sleep in the right neighborhood. But Christ is in your heart. Bible says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Please, guys, I want to beg you. Because some of you, you just come to church you are not coordinating your mind to listen to the word of God. Because once you live here right now and something goes wrong with your television and DSTV is not working and your husband didn't tell you I love you in the morning and the soup gets burnt and your boss tells you get out. You will squeeze your face for the whole week forgetting the original things in you. The proper thing is in you. Which is Christ in you. The hope of glory. I may not have money in my pocket, but Christ is in me. Yes, sir. I may not have the right job, but Christ is in me. I may not live in the, next, in the right neighborhood, but Christ is in me. Brothers and sisters, let us lay proper foundation. No? Let us have proper value of life. The preaching of the, of, of, from the pulpits that we pastors tell you, we make it look as if you don't have car, if you don't have all those things. God is not working. The most important thing that in your life is Christ too. Let us get that foundation. Are you hearing me? Why are you responding in a low way? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, it is the most important thing. You may not be married, but Christ is in you. Yes, you may be owing. Christ is in you. You may not have found a job. Christ is in you. That is the most important thing though. Some of you right now, if you are to be given the option of having money and having Christ, may God forbid that you will choose money. You didn't hear me very well. I say, if you are given the option of a of a whole of a house loaded with dollars and Christ, I say, may God forbid that you choose money Amen. above Christ. Amen. If you are given the option of position, minister of Burguru, whatever minister they want to give you, option of becoming the president of Nigeria and Christ. Let's say it's an option. You either have one or the other. God forbid that you will choose things above Christ. That you will choose position above Christ. That you will choose money above Christ. That you will choose husband above Christ. That you will choose a wife above Christ. Hallelujah. There's no other foundation anybody can lay than that which is, which is Christ. Brothers and sisters, the only reason why we gather, why it is called a church, is because Christ is in the church. Yes, if Christ is not there, it's not a church, you. Yes, it's a gathering. Yes, the, you can't, if three, I know you are a lawyer, I saw Sarah to here earlier on, lawyers, a number of you are barristers. If you like, gather yourself together. 
in the place and put a sign, sign by the say a court. It's not a court. What makes it a court in the presence of a judge? The gathering of Christians doesn't make it a church. It's the presence of Christ that makes it a church. If Christ is not there, it's not what a church. For he said, I will build my church. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. It's one of the reasons I rejoice. I have Christ in my heart. I may not have everything that you are looking for, but I have Christ. Luke chapter 10. Verse 1. I will just read only verse 1, then I jump to verse uh, 17. After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city. And place and place our places where he himself was about to go. He sent the 70 out. Some of you says he has 12 disciples. He didn't have 12 disciples. We don't know the number of disciples he had. He has several. The Bible says he sent 70 here. Upon another 70. He had several. By the time you get into the book of John, chapter 6, the Bible says hundreds left him at one time. He had 12 apostles, not 12 disciples. Glory be to God forevermore. The Bible says he has several disciples and he, he selected from among them 12. But they were several disciples. Glory be to God forevermore. Listen to this. He sent them out to places. And then they came back in verse 17. Go back to verse 17. They would go to verse 17. Then the 17 returned with joy. <laughs> Say, Lord, even the demons are subject to us. What? In your name. We got result. People who are healed, lives were changed. Testimonies are bound. We got resolved. And he, Jesus, said to them, I saw Satan what? Fall like lightning from what? From heaven. No, next line. Behold, I give you what? Authority to trample what? On serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies what? Hurt you. Verse 20 is where I'm going. Nevertheless, do not rejoice worth in this. That the spirits are subject to you, but rather what? Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. What should be the source of your joy? That your names are written in heaven. We boast in too many wrong things. We boast in the size of our church. We boast in our building. We boast in our money. We boast in our name. We boast in our position. The proper boasting is to boast that what? Your names are written in heaven. What shall they profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose his own soul. You know, in those days when we got born again, our joy alone was that we are saved. We, nobody taught us prosperity. We didn't even know about it. Nobody taught us any of those things. We were just happy to have Christ in our heart. And when, like, when people give their life to Christ this night, by the following morning, it started showing. It started showing. Everybody just knew that something is something, something different about you. But these days, it's unbelievable I'll be asking you, a Christian, hope there's no problem. Can't you see that something's wrong with you? That I don't believe I will walk up to you and ask you, Charlie White, are you, are you okay? Can't you see that something is wrong? That means Christ in you is being hidden. You are not placing proper value on Christ that is in you. Why are some of you sad this morning? No, why are some of you sad? You are sad because maybe the, somebody that owes you has not paid what you are expecting has not come in. The boy has not proposed. House rent is not there, there. The position they promised you, they've not given it to you. Last examination, your name was omitted. Uh, your last promotion, your name was omitted. That's why you are sad. As if those are the things that mark. Devils do get promoted. Their names are not in heaven. People do make money, but their names are not in heaven. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, one minute away from this earth, your reality will change. 
Let us lay proper value. You know, people that preach like this, they say we look like a cake people. You look at us, where is this pastor coming from? Where can the pastor be this one? He ought to tell us our enemies will fall. Like somebody that came to do my, do my DSV yesterday. They said I was not work for one week. And yesterday was a match. I wanted to watch uh, Man City and uh, Liverpool. Some of you are looking at me. Look at the She's surprised that you want to watch a match. No, I want to watch preaching. Preaching. Uh, are you hearing me? Kenneteki was preaching yesterday and Idaosa. So I wanted to watch. All of you like for somebody that will come to church and just tell lie like a dog. I can't me, I won't lie to you. Lie, lie. I won't watch match. I won't see Man City beat Liverpool. Everything. You, I just want to see. But now so there's how but when the man came, he lay hand. He's supposed to come and walk on my DSTV. This is how he lay hand on my DSTV. I'm not joking. He said, every blood, uh, every Satan walking against the I say, ha. Satan on my DSTV again. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not telling you what I heard. I was with him like he was standing. So I began, I said, Amen. <laughs> he said, Every Satan that stood against Jesus' TV, he rebuked them. He pleaded the blood of Jesus. He asked every spirit to die, die, die. I said, Amen. Every spirit blocking this dear TV, die. <laughs> and you know what? I was not even critical of him. We became good friends. I love him. In fact, when he was going, I said, don't charge me. Let me pay what I want to pay. I'll just pay you something. We became friends. He too said, when I was going, he changed my LMB at a point. He said he doesn't want to collect money. We became good friends. We met only for two and a half hours. You know what? I don't care whether he got doctrine right or no doctrine wrong. Whether he pleaded the blood of Jesus rightly or wrongly, or he banded the right spirit or wrong spirit. But it's, a Christ. it's, it's in Christ. If by grace, through faith, you have been saved, you are my brother. If you have Christ in you, you are my brother. I don't care what you, whether they call it living faith, whether they call it Christ embassy. I don't care whether they call it mountain of fire and miracle or mountain of turbulence. I don't care. Do you call on Christ? You are my brother. Let us lay emphasis on where emphasis belongs. Are you hearing me? Do not rejoice in this. That in our church, you know, we don't care. We they make up in our church. We they dress well, well. Your church you look like old people. I don't care. It's Christ in your heart. It's very important too. Wig without Christ is equal to hello. And religion without Christ is also equal to what? Hello. Do not have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. The power in godliness is Christ. For Christ is the end of the law and righteousness for everyone that believes. Glory be to God forevermore. For a man to declare boldly, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He meant what he said. He didn't say I'm a way. And the way. And by the way, if you look at that conclusion, he said nobody can come to the Father. He said by, by, by me. He didn't say nobody can come to God. People can go to God whatever you want to go to God. But if you want to go to the Father, it's going to be by him. Glory be to God forevermore. Let, it be, let this be your joy. Let it be your joy. Do not rejoice that we have resort. Let's rejoice that Christ is in us. Honestly, that is very important. The sadness we have in the body of Christ will disappear. Hallelujah. Some of you are so crazy. You are sleeping. I saw a woman there sitting with her son and slept. Because I'm talking about Christ. So if I'm doing drama here this morning, there is somebody there. You have cocoa on your knee. Come out. You say, yeah! What are somebody's cocoa on it? What, has he, what will he do to you? Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Number two reason. I rejoice. As I round up this morning, it's because God we keep his word. He's faithful. I thank you, Father, God of heaven and earth, because you keep your word in my life. It may take time. It may not be immediate, but you push yourself faithful in my life. Let God be true. Let every man be a liar. He will keep his word in your life. Are you hearing me? Everything you have read, 
in the world that belongs to you, God will keep it in your life. Amen. Numbers 23, we will read it together. Verse 19. Numbers 23, verse 19. That means even when I remember his word, it has not happened yet, I will praise him. Just like Abraham did. Bible says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. He didn't stagger at the promise of God. But he was strong in faith. Give me what? Glory to God. Because he was fully persuaded that he that promised is also able to what? Perform. Glory, 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 glory. Romans chapter 4, 4 verse 19 and 20. That he that promised is also able to perform. Hallelujah. Numbers 29, verse 19. Let's read together. One, two, go. God is not a man that he should what? Lie. Nor a son of man that he should what? Repent. As he said, will he not do? As he spoken, will he not make it what? Good. Everything that God has said, he will do in your life. Everything he has spoken will make it good in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you travel this December, I want to put your confidence in God. That what he has said he will do. What he has promised he will perform. Glory be to God forevermore. May we have plenty of testimonies. Of the faithfulness of God. That we point at look, look at this God has fulfilled his word. Look at this God has fulfilled his word. Look at this. Are you hearing me? In your health, in your body, may the Lord fulfill his word. Amen. In your finances, may the Lord fulfill his word. Amen. Concerning your children, Amen. Amen. may the Lord fulfill his word. Amen. Concerning your career, may the Lord fulfill his word. Amen. Everything he promised you, may the word become flesh. Amen. May you handle it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He always says, God is not a man that he should what lie. Now that the son of a that he should what repent. Has he spoken, will he not do it? Has he promised, will he not make it good? I want you to leave this place this morning with that. With your heart rejoicing. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, without the word of God in the life of a Christian, you will live a frustrated life. Without the word of God, there's no hope. I want to beg you. Because God does not consult with our head. He consults with our spirit. So your head wants to know a date. Your head wants to know how. Yes, now. That's the only way to give, to, to, to give security to, to the mind. Okay, tell me how. We say, okay, don't worry. For the 50 million, I will call Mr. Saka. He will send 25 I will call Mr. Dangote. He will send 20. Then finally, from the presidency, expect 10. Balance of 10. You will, you will, your mind will be able to work with that. But for a man, for God to tell you, go to the land where I will show you. A land I will show you. Where are you going? I don't know. He said, he will show me. Ah. No, 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 no. Just tell us. We don't, we don't mean there's that city. Even the state. He said, I don't know. He just said, I should be going. That when I get there, he will show me. That is tough. But the judge shall live by faith. The judge shall live by faith. I, oh God, I'm expecting a child. It is easy to say, look, when you do this IVF, it will succeed. So, and he explains to you that by this time next year, it's easier for the mind. But when he says, just trust me, no date, no how, it's difficult. Are you hearing me? But God is not a man. A man explains. A man tries to give confidence to it. You know why? Because the, 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 the pride of man is at stake. The greatest honor you can do to God is to trust him. You can't see him, you trust him. You can't play, you, you just believe him. That's the greatest honor you can do to God. There's something that happens to a man when you, when you don't trust a man who is trustworthy. Who tells you, don't worry my sister. I said I will send the money. And you say, no, Oga, you must leave your shoe behind you. It hurts. It, no, 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 it hurts them. Because can't you believe me? I, I'm not a broke man. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm a billionaire. I said I will send your 500,000. He said, no, Oga, I don't care. Even an ordinary yarning, leave him. 
Open up your phone. Leave your phone behind. The man said, you don't know me. I promise you. He hurts a man. A man of integrity. A man of resources. Try to convince you and you believe. And the man is trying to tell you, can't you see? That company belongs to me. That airline belongs to me. That oil company belongs to me. Say, oh, Ghana, your problem is that too. My, my 500,000. And God is telling you, can't you see the universe are created? Can't you see the moon? Can, what, what, how, much will you buy the, how much will you buy the sun? How much will you buy the seas? And the great creatures are created all over the place. I made them. Can't you just trust me? And you say, no, I don't care. It hurts God. That's why the, whole, the total miracle of salvation is packaging a simple word, faith. We are not there when Christ was killed. We are not there when he resurrected. He said, if we just believe, the greatest gift will belong to you. Amen. If that will happen by simply believing him, what else won't come to you by believing him? Tell your neighbor, have faith. Have faith. Just have faith. Uh, we may not know how, we may not know when, but just have faith. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah, yeah. Acts 27 as I round up this morning. Acts number 27. Acts 27. That's what he wants you to do. He's not a man. He will keep his word in your life. Ah, my God. Church is good. But when you leave church and you are on your own, that's where Christianity yeah. begins. Anybody can shout amen in church. Anybody can dance in church. But on your own, when Satan begins to bombard your mind, and ask you questions. How will this thing come to pass? May you have an answer. Amen. Glory be to God forevermore. Amen. Tell him my God is not a liar. Amen. I may not be able to explain to you, but I know my God is not a liar. Everything he has promised me, will come, he, he, he will fulfill it. Glory be to God forevermore. Acts 27 as we round up this morning. Paul had been a shipwreck now for 40 nights. No light, no sun. They thought they were going to lose their life. Then all of a sudden, listen to this, all of a sudden, an angel appeared to him and told him, don't worry, you will land. Let's, let's read it. 27 verse 21. I read it about four verses and I will finish up. But after a long abstinence, over after a long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, that was American, men, you should have listened to me. And not have said from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. Listen, brothers and sisters. Certain times we make moves that brings disasters. But even your mistake may the, may the mercy of God show up for you. You didn't hear that very well. I said sometimes we make mistakes. And our mistake will lead to losses. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. That even in your mistake may the mercy of the Lord show up for you. Hallelujah. He said, let's read that verse 21 again. He says, you should have listened to me and not have saved from Crete and he killed the disaster and loss. Listen to the next verse. And now I urge you to take heart. Tell your brother, say take heart, take heart. Don't worry about it anymore. Are you hearing me? Take heart. Take heart. For there will be no loss of life among you. Say amen to that. Amen. We claim it in the name of Jesus Christ. For this December as we travel up and down, anywhere we go, whether we're flying, whether we are riding in the air, whether we are driving, whether we are walking, whatever we do, there shall be no loss of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We claim that word. We claim that promise. We stand on it. We embrace it. We say yes to that promise in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, now I urge you, take out, for there shall be no loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. Look at what he says here. For there has stood by me this night an angel of God, to whom I belong and whom I serve. <clears throat> saying, do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar. And indeed, God has granted you all those who sail with you. May you be in the right company. Yeah. May you walk with a man who has the grace of God in his life. Yeah. Do you know that certain blessings you will get, my sister? Not because of you, but because the person you are with. Yeah. It's that all of you, you don't know me, but you are saved because of Paul. Over 300 men on board. All of them saved, preserved because of one man. Thank you, Father. May your associations be right. May your companies be right. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this note, I want to beg you all men, all of you men. I want to beg you. I'm begging you. 
I'm begging you, please. If God is blessing you because of your wife, don't misbehave. Oh. People carry grace. Oh. Some of you know that you are not even supposed to have what you have right now. You think it's your power. Now your wife. Oh. Kai, somebody's not hearing me now. You are here, my brother. Well, it's nice seeing you. I hope you are hearing. If you leave that woman, life will shock you. Don't mind my age. I have seen plenty of things in my short life. I've seen plenty of things. Hallelujah. Amen. I've seen plenty of things. I've seen people come down to ruins for leaving their wife. Because you left the woman with the right spirit. You left safety to go and become partner with a Jonah. Jonah who's running away from the presence of God. That the only thing they carry is storm. Once they enter your ship, now storm you go to experience. But when you have Paul in your company, Amen. a man that will be said because of him, your life is preserved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what he says here. He said, Don't be afraid, Paul. That's what the angel said to him. You must be brought before Caesar. And indeed, God has granted you all those who sail with you. Look at the next line. Therefore, take heart, man. For I believe what God. <laughs> this is where I'm going. That it will be just as it was told me. Amen. Tell your neighbor, take heart. Take, I believe God. It will be just as it was told me. Paul was crazy. Immediately Paul said this thing, he took bread and began to eat. In the midst of storm, he said, everybody, yeah, let's begin to eat. I believe God. That what he told me will, be, will come to pass. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. Will somebody live here today convinced that what he told you, he will bring it, bring it to pass? He said, I believe God that it will be to me just as it was told me. May you recover from that sickness. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. I say it be the power of the Holy Spirit by the conviction of the Spirit of God. May you recover from that sickness. Amen. That sickness will not kill you. Amen. In the name of the Lord be glorified instead. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take heart, man, for I believe God that it be just as it was what told me. It's a reason to rejoice. God will keep his word. We may not know how, but God will keep, just as it was told us, it will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I give you praise. Your ship will land safely. Amen. Your children will turn out right. Amen. Your path will shine brighter and brighter. Amen. Even unto a perfect day. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This coming month will be filled with good news. Amen. The peace of God that passes on understanding. We keep your heart and your mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When people wonder, why are you rejoicing? He said, no, I'm rejoicing because I have Christ in my heart. And number two, I'm rejoicing because I know everything he promised me. It will bring it to pass. Glory be to God forevermore. Father, I thank you. Paul said, I know the Lord is faithful. He's faithful. If you are a sensible man and a faithful man who has capacity promises you something, you will tell him thank you. You have not seen it all, but you trust their word. I want you, as we round up this morning, we we'll round them on that note, whereby you lift up your hand. Just thank him for all that he promised you. Just thank him this morning. Del deliberate, be deliberate about your faith this morning. That everything he spoke to you will come to pass. Everything he spoke to you. That increase will come to pass. That project will be finished. Hallelujah. Greater doors will open. You will not end this way. The, part, the plan of Satan will not come to pass in your life. You will not be put to shame. That's the promise of the word of God. For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 34 verse 19. 
thank him for it. Paul said, I know whom um, I believe that he will deliver, he will keep that which is committed to his hand. He said, but the Lord will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. For the Lord has indeed become our shepherd and we shall not be in any want. Let's thank God for it. Be confident of this very thing that he that began a good work in you will also complete it. Thank God for that. He has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We will not dash our foot against any stone. Thank God for that. Thank God because you are not going to die prematurely in your sleep. For I slept and I woke up because the Lord sustained me. Yes. As we go to bed, I will, may the Lord sustain you. Amen. As we sleep, may the Lord sustain you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says, vain to wake up early sleeping late, eating the bread of sorrow. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. We will not eat the bread of struggle. Amen. We will not eat the bread of struggle. The Lord gives us peace in the midst of trouble. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for that. Thank God for the salvation of your household. For any of your brothers, sister, parents, uncles, aunties that are not saved. Thank God that they will be saved. For it's the will of God to have all men to be saved. I come to the name of the truth. It's a promise of God for you. Bible says you shall be saved, you and your household. That is the promise of God for you. Thank God for their salvation. The Bible said the seed of the righteous shall be mighty upon the earth. Thank God for your children. That they will be mighty upon the earth. We lift up your name, Lord Jesus. We lift you up, we lift you up, we lift you up. We are so grateful. Thank you for keeping your word in our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This coming month of December, may you receive the kind of miracle you have not received it in the, in the past 11 months. The kind of miracle you have not received in the past 11 months. I say in the past 11 months. May they pour into your life in one month. Favor you have not seen before. This December, may the Lord round it up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your year end with a mighty harvest great testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless your going out and your coming in in the name of Jesus Christ. The time for fulfillment has come. I hear that in my spirit. The time for performance has come. For blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things that are spoken by the Lord. Thank you, Father. I give you praise, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I give you praise and I honor your holy name. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning, but there's a phrase the Lord gave to me, purpose in my heart. For somebody. He said the price you have paid for your mistake is enough. I don't know who you are. But that's what the Lord laid on my heart. To tell somebody here this morning. That the price you have paid for that mistake is enough. May the mercy of God visit you. May the mercy of God visit you. If you are not in workers training yesterday. I did a training about knowing God as a father. We are not perfect people, but we have a perfect father. In the name of Jesus, may things turn out right. May you rejoice according to the years of your pain. May he give you double for every trouble. In the name of Jesus Christ. After all said and done, may your testimony be complete. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing we do in life that God is not aware of. He knows all your choices. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may his mercy answer for you. May his mercy triumph over every judgment. No, we, we, we all make mistakes. Sometimes we take, we take certain steps 
that are not right. We waste time, we waste resources, we get hurt in the process. But may his mercy, may his mercy, may his mercy cover us this morning. Speak on your behalf, my sister, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That which we know not, may he show us. The next step, may he guide us. In the name of Jesus Christ. The years that cacaworm have eaten, that caterpillar has eaten, may those years be restored. Everything we have lost because of our mistake, I pray, may they be restored sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every wrong turn we have made that led us to the wrong places, may the GPS of heaven visit you. We direct you to the path of destiny and take you to a safe heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. As we close this morning, we walk up to three people because when the storm was going on, Paul and Kotor, that was the end until God spoke to them that you are going to, you are going to land safely. Based on that, tell three people this, to this morning that you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. Uh, are you hearing me, man? Uh, you have not seen the last of me. Uh, are you hearing my brother? You have not seen the last. My sister, you have not seen the last of me. Man, you have not seen the last of me. This may not be working. Are you hearing me? But you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. My sister, you have not seen the last of me. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. You have not, you have not seen the last of me. Uh, you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. Are you hearing me? I will still land in Rome. I will still preach to Caesar. I will still declare the castle of God. The purpose of God will still come to pass in my life. Let there be storm. Let there be wind. You have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. I may be broke. I have no money. Maybe you are the one feeding me right now. But you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. So we give you praise, Father. Because you are faithful. And we thank you for Jesus in our lives. The hope of glory. If you give to us, Jesus, what else would you give to us? For that, we are truly grateful. Blessed be your name, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's celebrate, celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Best, what, what, what are we doing next? Okay, praise, praise God. Because of the sessions we are doing next, let's take our offering and then we kick off with the rest. Hallelujah. Our brothers from Makodi, you are all welcome. I can sell of you. Well, celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate every one of them. God bless you. Welcome. Hallelujah. If you want to do, it, do a transfer, the accounts are on the screen. We want to give fiscal cash. Let the ushers know. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jaffe, give me one old tune, one old song. I don't know, one old tune. I don't know, an uh, old song. Hallelujah. As principal concerned. I will sing unto the Lord oh, my joy. song. <laughs> I will praise his name. For the Lord is good. I will sing joyful song.
Hallelujah. Let's do that last one. When we used to go to fellowship in those days, fellowship no the end until we do that one. Are you hearing me? Where we leave praise worship, oh, that's how it must end. Praise the Lord, oh, sing, oh, sing, oh, sing, oh, sing, Praise his holy name, oh, sing, oh, sing, oh, sing, oh, sing, Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Yeah. Let's get to the program. I was worried when it started raining this morning because how shall we make, they want to collect your mic, how shall we do our balango in the rain and our suya in the rain because many rams died early this morning, they laid their life down because of you. You want to eat suya. Because when students close from classes, they must go to the cafeteria. So when we finish, we are going to the cafeteria and have a taste from the nurse. There will be masa, suya, balango. There will be kunuaya, Finally, we are there for so everything from the north. Go there. But there are no, uh, what do you call that? Soup? Me and Kuka. And, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Dad will go and eat it in area 11 or somewhere. <laughs> eat me and Kuka here. Don't disturb our life with me and Kuka. Glory be to God forevermore. So, are you ready to laugh this morning? Yeah. Bible says, laughter doeth good men like what? Like medicine. So, we are so glad to have uh, all these artists, artists in our midst. And we thank God that the body of Christ is opening up to receiving the ministry of joy. And uh, the only advice I have for them is that make sure you are doing a lot of background praying in the Holy Ghost so that you'll be anointed. So that you'll be anointed. Hallelujah. Let me welcome the chief host this morning for this session. Welcome, why beats? Oh my own, oh my own, oh my own. Let's go. Dear student, rise up on your feet. Oh my own, oh. Let's go. Listen to this one. Listen to this. If you do good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you do bad. Oh, 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 listen. There are three little black birds. I can't hear you. Say, come on. Say, say, say what? Listen to this one. This one. This one is quite funny, but you like it. Oh, Droja is dead and gone to his grave. Say! Say, planted a mango tree over his... Say! And the mango grew ripe and ready to drop. Say! Grace, we make some noise! Oh boy, hallelujah. Come on, this is cool, this is cool. Ah, you, you, doctor's wife, have you done your assignment? 
Please sit down. Some of you, you are not as old as makeup makes you feel. Very young people. See uniform now. You. Camera on this lady. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you feel blessed to be in this room this morning, please a round of applause to the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, this is what I want to say. Pastor, based on my stay in Graceville, I'm, I'm three years in Graceville now. Thank you. But here, my anniversary as a comedian in this church this year, based on church calendar, is today. Because it was last, casual, um, last year's casual Sunday that you first gave me the opportunity to bless God's people here as a comedian. And I don't take it for granted. Can we celebrate a highly esteemed man of God for this platform, for this opportunity? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. I'm saying this, sir, but there's something that is my problem. And I want to beg you. We go loud voice church for one program like that. They call in his church. When they call loud voice, they just shout. If you see the way they were celebrating loud voice. Before they even called him up, they now called one Lebanese man. White Lebanese. See me they introduced loud voice. Sir, since that day. A week later, loud voice called me, said, since that day, where will you both introduce him? Now only international calls did they get. International, international. In my mind, I was now like, Lebanese? Is Lebanese or Igbo? <laughs> so in my mind now, I say, if it's international call based on Oibo, we have Oibo here. <laughs> Mama, based on that thing now, please, I say God beg you, you go introduce me. <laughs> but there are some things inside the introduction. There are some things I need you to say. It'd be like, nah, lie, but. And you're a pastor's wife, you cannot be lying. But faith collect for the things that be not as though they're. So now I'll carry the mic and bring it to you. Somebody give me another mic. Mama, thank you. That's, that's a principal's mic. So now, this is what you say. Mommy, please pay attention so that this thing will work. Because I boasted to my friends online that in my church I'm a celeb, man. So, when you want to introduce me, these are a few things you will say. You will say, ladies and gentlemen, based on that Oibo accent. So, you now say, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you one of the best comedians in the whole wild world. <laughs> Mama, listen, at the end of the, in the whole wild world, you now say, chee. <laughs> Mama, pay attention, no. When you say, chee, this is the most important part that makes sense to me. So that they will know it's Oibo woman that introduced me. Now, don't do like you are my mommy. Oh. <laughs> Just do like Oibo. So you now say, aside being the best comedian in the whole wide world, he's my favorite comedian, man. <laughs> then at the end of the man, you now say, chee. <laughs> and then to crown it up, after the chee, you now say, ini. Mama, can you remember everything? Yeah. Clap for them! Yeah. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this morning it's my honor to introduce my favorite comedian in all the world. She! She! Adam Blow! Adam Blow! Mama, Adam Blow! Mama, Mama, don't say any further. Just say, Ini. At the end of the chi, you now say, Ini. Chi, in it. Graceville makes some noise! White Beats, we love you! Did you hear that last part? When they say white beat, you love you, you now go, they come, they come on, and cap, they stone me. 
Grace, we put those hands together for Jesus. Pastor, I'll say this and then I'll call. Please, the five comedians from Benway, can you clap for them as they come up? I will show their face to you and then I'll call somebody up before we get into the contest. But you need to know their numbers. Now, this is it. You are going to vote for them. You vote for the favorite, your favorite. And the rule is, you never can tell. The best don't always get to win. It doesn't change the fact that they are good. All right? Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. A Christian who is a music producer, his name is I.D. Kabasa. This is what he said. During an interview, he said that the church is trying to take over the entertainment industry, but the only thing they are investing is wisdom. They are not investing money. But on the contrary, we have a pastor who is investing wisdom and money. <laughs> pastor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you. Please sit down. Each of these guys will be going home with something amazing this morning. Pastor only saw them at my show, the last one we had, and Pastor said he wants to bless them. One more time, celebrate my daddy. So, I'm sure you have your voter's card already. Get your biros, get your whatever you're going to write with. Now, the first position, please get even the lecturers and teachers will vote. Yes, pastor will vote. Pastor, how do you do that now? <laughs> you watch. And vote. Okay. Okay. So, after all, Jagabin votes. <laughs> okay. So, this is what we're going to do. We'll give you the papers. This is contestant number one. And his name is Half Bread. But, yes, Half Bread. Now, you can see, instead of writing, if you're having stress writing the name half bread, don't bother. Just write G O one or just write one. It's that simple. This is Amon. Amon. Amon is contestant number two, and you can either write two or G O two. If your writing is not good, just write two. <laughs> your spirit is good, is your writing that is a problem. So this is, this is champion. He was the winner of the last White Beach show. So I don't know about today. So he's number three. And you can either write three or G03. This is um, Mr. Dimple. He was the first winner of the White Beach show. Yeah. So today, he's contestant number four. You can either write G04 or four. This is Melanin Talker. Don't even bother writing the name. So just write either G05 or number five. Please go back. Clap for them. So ladies and gentlemen, coming up to bless us in a different way. His comedy is unique. Color-wise, he's unique. Everything is unique about this man. For the very first time at Graceville Christian Center, a man that God has richly blessed with an amazing sense of humor. Let's put our hands together for my friend and brother, Shalom Unwachuku, a.k.a. Charlie White! Good morning, church. All right, since it's a Holy Ghost school service, I will crack in all my joke in simple, correct English. I'll not be speaking broken. I think I deserve a round of applause for that. Uh, my brother, life know how to. <laughs> oh, for now, man, I go continue. Mommy, greet you, man. Yeah, mommy, why be just said there is an oibo 
Why you don't know there is another Oibo, but lower Oibo. <laughs> you are the upper Oibo. Because when they kidnap you, you pay them. When they kidnap me, they will pay me. <laughs> Daddy, I want to say I love you. Daddy, in China, your handsomeness is called Fun Nufi Nahaya Nahaya. I know most of you are wondering where is this Abino looking. That's the problem. Or where Abino the face? Nobody where would they go? <laughs> Daddy, I want to tell you something. You need to understand the way some of you now they look me like Sabu na carry over. Mona lafo. Daddy, you know I usually used to tell you something that you actually gave birth to a son you don't know. And let me tell you, by the virtue of color, me and mommy we have match. <laughs> Daddy, now you know how you want to use fitting. Please, who is in charge? Can you snap me? Mommy, mommy, I'm going to teach you my language. You teach me your language. Mama, you say DO2. Can you say DO2? DO2. DO2. Uh, Daddy, don't carry and go about before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has been in Abba. Oh, sis, your ma. Wow. Daddy, God bless you. Daddy, God bless you. Uh, Daddy, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you all in the presence of all my classmates from today henceforth. Mama, the way you just look me, say, eh, now you both be this. <laughs> Let me tell you, if I'm cracking jokes and you are not laughing, anything that concerns heaven, remove your mind. <laughs> Where I knew that God will help me was when they were saying, draw an animal and labor it. My classmate begin look me. <laughs> One of my classmates get mine, they tell me, I oh, know they shake you, they confuse us. <laughs> School not really hard though. Now, who promised in mother first class school they suffer? <laughs> it got to a point that they were calling me Abino. Abino, I go tell my father, Daddy, why did they call me Abino? I don't get them. My father followed me, goes to say his name is not Albino, his name is Charlie White. After my father, Hala finished, now he looked me. Abim, what the girl has. <laughs> so, the way you are laughing, is it my joke or my condition? <laughs> need to stress yourself in life. One of my friends that study accounting, banking, and finance, now in the same power bank. <laughs> Hello? Hi? You are reading a bit with flash. What's going to show inside? Negative or positive? <laughs> eh, because I know my condition now. For school, after everything, we are going for capturing. After everything, the person snapping us simple passport on flash. I no show inside. He no show inside. <laughs> he asked me, young man, who are you? I asked him off the flash. As soon as the man off the flash, he snapped me. He no show. He said, you're a magical man. <laughs> Some of the names we answer while growing in school is crazy. My friend that told me he will make it in life, he will make it in life. I was just looking at him. You know, no. They say school now scam, school no be scam. Oh, now what you read matter. My guy always study animal husband, even small animal, no get for us. <laughs> you don't need to stress yourself. School days, you will agree with me, those days in school, to prove to teacher you are very intelligent. As soon as the teacher just asks one question, you can just raise your hand. As soon as the teacher asks, who is you? Just raise your hand. Auntie, I, teacher could just look you, bring down your hand, you know it. Now look, my friends, it didn't work, oh. The next day, the teacher just came to class. Who is? Now raise my hand. Auntie I. Now ask me, who is the capital? What's the capital of Niger? Eh? I know Nigeria won't finish. Now saw my hand there. He said, yes, continue. I said, teacher, any time I've been on the hungry, now saw my hand the day up. Just like this now, we are seated in church, just like this now. Pastor said, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor the Lord has paid for my debt. Eh, I they owe my landlord. And he seated close to me. One thing told me, Shalom, 
fire. Wisdom is profitable to direct. I looked at my landlord face to face and I told him, Landlord, the Lord has paid for my debt. Ibo man, now I laugh. <laughs> Tell the Lord I've not gotten a lot. I'm here to announce to you all my class members, senior and junior. I'm here to announce to you that I'm seeing my daddy here. Sir, daddy, from today, my name is Shalom Pastor Tunde. <laughs> sir, you are surprised? Yes, yeah, sir. If you did not adopt me, daddy, I will adopt you. <laughs> there must be an adoption. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, 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 neighbor. I will be greater than you. Now, wait till I tell my project supervisor, I still did page one. <laughs> As I have been, I've been in church, never take like somebody get my sit down for my lap. This is a plastic chair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, a lot of comedians are backstage. I would like to tell you, whatever you are doing in life, don't let anybody confuse you. There's one thing our president said, and I love it so much, that if he becomes the president that he is now, he will employ 50,000 Nigerian youth into army. That means... <laughs> that means virtue of use as an albino, I'll be among the army. Shut down. <laughs> an albino that they employed into Nigerian army. They're going to go put the albino. If I say they put them for better places, for good, they're going to put the albino for firing squad. They don't fire DPO. <laughs> Please, somebody to time me. Oh. Time me because me, you know, the Bible says in the presence of God there is what? Fullness of. Hey, so we'll enjoy ourselves. If you are not laughing, it's either you are looking at me as two things, you are looking at me as jam resort or carryover. <laughs> yes. We are in school now. Those guys, you know the, the way we introduce ourselves in school? You know, the one was like, ah, oh, my name is Jennifer, but you can call me Jenny. I said, oh, that's nice. The one asked me, what's your name? I said, my name is Shalom, but you can call me Charlie. The girl now saw that everybody's packaging their name. The girl laughed. I was like, what's your name? And the girl laughed. <laughs> my name is Grace, but you can call me Grrrr. <laughs> they already hit it for me. Pam, pam. Like, say, now, end time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie White, CFR on Instagram. Thank you, Pastor. Good night. Enjoy the rest of the event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love Charlie White, put those hands together. Amazing. Thank you. Mona see Abino now. You won't go, you say good night in the morning. No? You must show yourself. <laughs> Be care in this life, be careful the kind of name you they call your children, no pastor. Name they follow person, no. Name is very important. One woman they always complain, saying begin to the smoke. He carry and call me pastor, me pastor, pray for her. I say, why did the boy not go smoke when the name and Benson? <laughs> no, picking where you name Benson, what do you go to do? Now Buju now go to rap in Shawama. <laughs> no jokes. Names are very, very important. You have to be careful. My name, my real name. Before I name myself White Beats, my parents named me Winston. Amazing Mona Club. In case you didn't know, the meaning of Winston is joy stone. That's a pillar of joy. That's why I make people laugh for a living. Don't play. If you play, you learn the hard way. <laughs> no jokes. Be careful. They can. One woman, go name him Picking Innocent. Innocent, don't go join court. Pastor, who carry innocent joint court? Guess what? You need a salvation. Who wants to save her now? <laughs> when the police go arrest them, carry them, go police station, they were not doing their research. They now found that, say, innocent father Nadibia. You see this life, eh? At the end of the day, this life is two-faced. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Are you ready to vote for your favorite comedian? Are you ready to vote? If you're ready to vote for our number one comedian this morning, this guy is funny, frankly speaking. If it doesn't make you laugh, you have a problem with your sense of humor. Let's make welcome one of my favorite comedians of all time, Half Bread.
Why did it come back? Why did it come? Why did it come? Watch, watch from now on. They only have one round. As you're watching now, you determine who your winner is. At the end, at the end. When I restart that time? <laughs> restart his time, please. Why did it come? When I say go school, say no, let me see what you want. The name is Half Bread. Not half bread. If they call, the way they call it, they sound like insult. So go back and call it very well. Call her. Like? Say half bread. So that I don't know, say so you don't learn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for half bread. <laughs> when I shout, I see when I like me. Thank you very much. So I didn't mean I don't tell Namuna shout enough for no shout. I'm not surprised. Do you know why? Even my father, when my father, the time when he bombed me, when he see me, he was not impressed. <laughs> you know, you know this kind what you ordered versus what you got. <laughs> now my mama can the advice and say, man, no worry, half bread is better than. <laughs> I will tell you, Pastor T. Thank you very much sir, for having us. So I say the vote. The last time I came to Abuja, you laughed for my joke. Right O1 now. <laughs> <laughs> right O1, ma, see you. <laughs> uh, see, I love, I love, see, church no hard. You saw the way your pastor preached. To give your life to Christ, go hungry you. Truth. There is what happened in churches. You see this thing where, they, where people they do confession for church. The last time I tried confession will be the last time. I will tell you what happened. <laughs> Sir, I do confession for church. Pastor say me usher home it the police come. <laughs> no. He said, he said you don't understand what he me at the talk. I said, no, wait, no, 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 laugh first. I said, but pastor, Bible says all things are passed away. He said, pass, go where? <laughs> On top to television, if you are not careful, I will pass you out. I will tell you, my pastor. It, <laughs> I will tell you. And you know, you know, see the way everybody is looking beautiful. There's one scripture in the Bible that my pastor read once on. They say, and God created man in his own image. So pastor comes say, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are the image of God. Now, no, pastor says, say, you are the image of God. Now I say, I am the image of God. Now pastor say, say it like you mean it. I am the image of God. Now I jump, I say, I am the image of God. He say, now, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are the image of God. Now I turn, neighbor, you are the. Now my pause, what I saw, sir. That was when I know the deep, why the Bible says some are wonderfully made and some are fearfully made. Yes. So when I come post, my pastor come notice him. My pastor say, bro, say it. I say, sir, with all due respect, if not so God did, you go serve God. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, easy. And let me talk about Nigeria before I go. See, Nigeria, the, the way we do things for this country, so I don't understand. Listen. Other countries, the way they greet, you will not say things they wear. For example, the white. Hi, hello. Good morning, ma. Good morning. You know, say things are going good. But Nigeria, to show that we are confused, that we, are, we don't even know where we are going, I will see you and I will ask you how far. That is so annoying. How far? Bro, how far? The one. The, I don't know this one to show that we are very confused. How now? How how on earth is how now a greeting? There's one that you do these days. They will see you, boss. What nonsense! And then you to show that in Niger, if you are, if you are in Nigeria, you are in you are it's hard work. Being in Nigeria alone, is hard work, very hard work. And that's why they will see you with your suit. The worker will say, 
Well done, no. I'm telling you, before I sign out, I've never been so proud of Nigeria until three days ago when I had revelation about rapture. Oh, it they shock you. It's a comedian. No, they receive revelation too. <laughs> Mommy, daddy, rapture is glorious. Honestly, we made it. But those of you that refuse to laugh for the joke, you stay here. <laughs> yes, we made it. So, as we assemble for gate of heaven, now so it just the glorious. Let me stay for front. When you reach your revelation, you go stay front. Now me stay for front. The next thing I can't see, white beat. White, they, they were in dress with in copper shirt. Now so in dress that day. White beat was wondering about. What are you looking for? Very, it was like, ah, uh ah. -uh. Now I can't see, I can't see. White beat, white beat, come over here, come. Now white beat, come run. Come say half bread. Thank God I see you. I say, stay for my back, stay for my back. <laughs> you will stay behind me in heaven. So, I can't like say, what do you define? What do you define? They see what? Why be tell me that he shocked me? Why be say he won't charge phone? <laughs> say, like, no day. <laughs> what do you want this phone to do? He say he won't call Pastor T. Say, Pastor T, say, if they go help make follow up. I say, he don't go sis. <laughs> All right, before I sign out, I see get time. Listen, listen, listen. Why I said Nigeria is confused? I buy power bank. Power bank to charge phone. They tell me, say, make a charger for 24 hours. If I get that kind of light, I go buy power bank. Thank you very much. That's my time. Ladies and gentlemen, have bread. Thank you. Be reminded, have bread is contestant number one. All right. Coming up next, another hilarious comedian. You will love him. If it's not funny, I'll give you back your offering. I don't know how that will be done. But let's make work on. Amen. Contestant number two. Please be make some noise. Hallelujah. Um, sorry, I better not drop this thing. Later, I just stand here. I just feel like say I'll be on a pastor. Wait, I just calculate for all this crowd now, tight and offering. <laughs> pastor T, thank you very much for having us, sir. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for my pastor. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> uh, I beg. I'll be number two. When I vote for me, I'm the first son of my family. <laughs> because if I know win this money and I go back house, I know if you win argument for family. <laughs> Now, my second time when they come to this church, be this. the first time I came was during White Beach Show. And that Sunday, doctors been come talk for here. How they call that program? Uh, doctor's prescription. I've been heard they call that. Meet the doctors. Sir, I go back to I tell my pastor, say, see what I see for Abuja. See more drum for our church too. My pastor grew. Two Sundays later, my pastor brought doctors to church. He brought 14 doctors. Seven native doctors and seven conductors. I say, why? You say, uh-uh, doctor, now, doctor, now. I'm going to clap for my pastor, I try. <laughs> Seriously, you make sure you enter this place, they wear this church, fine. You go know the presence of God, they hear. If not pray, God, they answer. Anytime when pastor, they pray for this church, God, they have them. God, they bless you. Pastor, they pray, thank you, Jesus, thank you. God, bless you. oh, please stop. <laughs> oh, please stop now. Pastor, go they pray. God, go they say, oh my God, my faithful servant. <laughs> I like the way you pray. <laughs> stop now. I, I like it. Please stop. Then God will come ask him, please stop now. Do you want to marry me? <laughs> Mommy, na joku. <laughs> oh, if you go to my church for Benue, the first thing we go discourage you na altar decoration. See, also na altar shine. They even show my face. See my big head. <laughs> if you see my altar decoration, now, red and black rapper, they used to decorate altar. Altar, can't they look like shrine? On Sunday, presence of God, no degree in touch or two. Now, usher, can't they say, please, come. Presence of God, say, no, 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 please. I know I'm going to kidnap you, please. See, church, now, church, fine. 
I come and see drummer. They won't put drummer for show glass. <laughs> keyboard, I know the keyboard is good. It's jealous I'm now. <laughs> oh, for our church, we'll get keyboardies. Come, Benway. Wait till we get na keyboarder. <laughs> In favorite key, na off key. <laughs> In music, the carry us go astray. Now, last two Sundays, our keyboard is no come church. Our pastor can't say, Mo, go find experienced keyboardies. May he come play. God can't help us. We can't see one experienced 51 years old man. He said, get 50 years experience. <laughs> so, during worship, the man can't they play. The thing shock us. They sing, Jehovah, you are. The man start playing. Ton, 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 jing, gong, 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 jing. Ton, ton, jing, gong, 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 ton, ton. We can't say, we sing this man to play like this. They can't change the song. You are the pillar. Ton, 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 jing, gong, 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 jing. Ton, ton, jing, gong, gong, gong. We can't get confused. We can't say, okay, maybe now so the man, they play worship. They can't enter our praise. And I know laugh for you. That joke funny where we're for being real. <laughs> when I clap, I beg for the make sense. <laughs> Seriously. See us when I pass or look when I pass or they enjoy. Economy don't hard though. People they tell me say country hard. I know the great belief. Now until last Sunday after church, where I go my pastor house, now then I believe say country don't hard. I go to my pastor house, I see my pastor, they eat bread and anointing oil. <laughs> this country, not in balance again, no. No, you know, say now only for this country, Pesuwe get the same problem with you, go won't advise you. Yesterday night, my father's second wife, come they advise me, say double dating a sin. <laughs> Pesuwe was supposed to say ourself, tell ourself, that's pretty cool. <laughs> when I clap, I beg for the make sense. Um, uh, now I do this last one. Cookie people there, my cookie people. Muna clap on ourselves not too much. I like cookie people well, well. But the only problem I get with them is their intonation. I get cookie friend, he need a book. A book come my house, they shout one day. Amon, my Jeep don't spoil. Amon, my Jeep don't spoil. I say, calm down. Hey, uh, Abu, when you buy Jeep, one, no, no, no. He said, no, no. Now my Jeep for lodger, now my Jeep for lodger, now zip. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> they think to surprise me. All right, you know, say some comedians, they go, tear, tear, tear. They go say, thank you very much. That's my time. As now, see, I still get time, bro. but I don't get joke I go funny again. <laughs> so please, permit me to take my leave. Just as he takes his leave, let's hope we'll get a vegetable. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, amazing comedian. He goes by the name Champion. Come Contestant on, number three. Kennedy, make some noise. Hallelujah. That amen cannot buy me pure. Hallelujah. Daddy T. The difference between churches like Graceville Christian Center and a church that Whitebeard took me to in Nyanya is in their testimony. I will explain. In Graceville Christian Center, when they call you for testimony, um, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Engineer Benson for his testimony. Engineer Benson will come outside. Um, praise the Lord, church. Whether I say hallelujah, nothing concerned now. You can just talk in thing. Last week, I got a contract of 500 million, but because of the obstacles from here and there. The contract letter came in for 450 million. I just want to thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sir, the church YB took me to in Nyanya. You know, say everything about Nyanya, they always give them warning. Two, two minutes, please. Go straight to the point. Please, don't waste our time. They say, if you have um, testimony, go and meet Brother Timothy at the back. I can't see person wear coats. No be suto. He wear coats. They wave and like, who wants to start talking about they went and met him, but Timothy now came up. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the following testifier for their testimony. Number one, we have um, Sister Chineri Akuzogoboku for her testimony. Two, two minutes, please. Go straight to the point. Mona hear testimony now. She first come. Pray! The old church say, hey, you know, Christ stop. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. 
They'll come talk one thing. What do we spend me? That hallelujah is too small for my God. <laughs> Are you God? Did God tell you that? What's your problem? She said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear testimony now. I'm a cleaner in Diamond Bank. Nya, nya. One day I was cleaning. I didn't know that naked wire was. Oh, Jehovah. See who they give to two minutes. She said, I was cleaning one day. I went and matched naked wire. Naked wire said, Chucky me, Chucky me, Chucky me. They rushed me to the hospital. There I met my destiny helper. A man from nowhere came, paid my bills, gave my husband a job, gave me money to start my life anew. Now, brother, Timothy, if they conduct testimony, as pastor, hear the money where they give her. Pastor, wrong, go collect mic. Rush, Now you are going to open my mouth and pray. Father Lord, as you shock this woman to her destiny, shock it to my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. See all they pray now. Father Lord, shock me, O Lord. Father Lord, shock me, O Lord. People, where's the book? Electrocute me, O Lord. Electrify me, O Lord. One man just there one side, they shout, Oh Lord, I want to spark. <laughs> No, be not pay me pass. Oh, you know this provocative prayer. You they pray. You know, if you do one place, pray. Some people go hold your neighbor, shock me, O Lord. Some people go hold pillar, shock me, O Lord. One prayer warrior go put your hand for changeover. And the changeover no get cover. And church there for Jen, in go put your hand for when they per day. Now, Jen, they bring like to. We just see person they shout. Pastor said that's a shout of victory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget. Hello, hold on. Don't forget the first person that came was half bread, contestant number one. The second person was Amon, contestant number two. two. And this was champion. One more time, give it up for champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up next, very, very hilarious comedian. Amazing with an amazing voice. Let's make welcome my friend and brother, Mr. Dimple. Go. <laughs> now, now, go help me win this thing. You know, I know safe now by funny. I know funny reach those guys. But if now by family problem, none of them get and reach me. <laughs> eh? No be comedy I plan to now. But see me here now. <laughs> Normally, if things go as I plan, supposed to be doctor now and they ask me to the prescribe drugs. They take two for money, take two for afternoon. But now, life don't show me shake. I know if even take two square me. <laughs> Eh? Hey, I bet this drama where they ask here, this girl where do like how go And uh, you again, I bet that girl from Nya Nya. <laughs> no, more they talk. Seriously. Now, today now, uh, yeah, University of Laughter, I'll talk about school small. You, uh, they pay, nothing pay for school. I like, say you and your friends arrange sitting formation for exam. On a sit down 10 minutes into the exam. They invigilate or go carry you or who sabi book come out. Yeah? <laughs> if you want to clap, clap now. No, we saw money they promise us on a go here. I, but, no one thing I like Abuja girls very well. They are very, like research have shown you that they are the most beautiful girl in the country. Seriously. They are very classy, but my problem with them is their English. Especially those ones from Nyanya, they can speak rubbish English. <laughs> now, so too, they call real. Now, I hear, it's a lie, blessing. It's not me that talk it. I say, hey. it's not you that talk it. Say, who talk it? One way, her friend buy, her boyfriend buy her a gift. He show, like, as I give her the gift, she was like, oh, thank you. What is there inside? I say, what is there inside? Ah! Now, for this Abuja work, come. Daddy, Daddy, thank you very much, sir. Sir, that hotel, hi, that hotel was hotel ring. 
Daddy, the food they brought for us is very plenty. I don't know if whether you were testing us, but sir, we failed the test. <laughs> we ate all the food. <laughs> sir, I'm not proud to tell you, but sir, if you test us again, we'll still fail. <laughs> Hey! Bring her down, bring her down. I know to get time. Ah, the time will long. <laughs> All right. Now, as I come this Abuja, the two are annoying me, Pastor. The man will give me lift. That man, even if I'm not a Christian, I'll not forgive him. Imagine, he shock you by say, who helped me at the Vex for And that was no help. That man carried me for a car and wind up on AC. Come the mess for me. Wait, 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 he going to provoke me, sir. He got to get my single and useless song. Say, ah, few mess. If I mess, now my business, now my card. And you don't say, get the weapon, see, God, they annoy you. You know, go on, show and say the best. I got a used to, they close my nose. He got to get my, they ask me, say, is anything the problem? I say, sir, everything is a problem. You want to suffocate me with your bum <laughs> Eh? Now, even though you know get respect, get this particular set of people where you need to respect. Respect army. Those people, they are terrible. Now, so me and white beats, they were, would they ride, oh? We reach army checkpoint. As we reach army checkpoint, they tell us more stop. I don't know if the man talk, why be star vex? In the shout, now me call the phone tell her, I say, keep, keep quiet. I keep quiet. The man say, if my friend, if you shout at me again, I will slap you. Why be say, if you slap me, I will slap you back. Hey, see my do. <laughs> now, now, before I know, small argument, now why be first go to slap the man? Now the man give her, too high. Now why be four? <laughs> In front, <friend> straight. <laughs> now we come, they shout, they come pour our water. I said, wake up in home, I shared. Said, Dimpu, where is the driver? I said, which driver? He said, the driver will ride the trailer, will jam me, uncle. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grace Peter, it's my time. Thank you. Grace me one more time. Give it up for Mr. Dimpu, contestant number four. Please don't forget to vote. The one you feel best, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome very, very funny guy. He's the tallest among them all. Let's make welcome Melanin Choker! Contestant number five. Gravy student, shall we do this? I'm going to be a good child. I'm going to be a good child. All the time. Sing with me. Keep quiet, I'm a pro Abuja people. Some people will juggle, sing the other one. I don't do forehand. Wow. Graceville, good morning. I think this is the best church in the world. Yeah. Take it from me. I've seen a lot. Yeah. The choir is super. You are the best. As them in the sing, I they cry. Not because they were doing bad. I was remembering my church back home. Imagine, say, Grace, we won't worship. Now we hear something like this. I searched the whole world. I know Sabi sing, but I'll try. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. I still couldn't find nobody. Nobody's great. Let it just sing. Say it's sweet, ba. It's sweet enough to worship, baby. You know, say God, dear, my church, pastor. Let's welcome Sister Inkiru to come and lead us in the praise and worship. I don't know what's wrong with her shoulder, whether it's pride or that's how it is, but now so she did. Mike, where they don't they use before they give her, she must check him. Amen. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise the Lord. Shall we worship him? 
She will come start song where even she no know. God go verse for her more. Imanoneba e m m m iman imanoneba e m m m iman. Pastor, they look at me. Waiting, bring m m m. He say iman. He get where she sing and read. Now, Pastor, as I say, Sister Kiru, what did you do to m m m? Now she bust cry. M m m. Now I that I say, we can get out of this church. For the time when I clap, oh. Now the Bible says the last shall be the first, oh. I'll be number waiting. Number waiting. Somebody saying get problem. The other one saying the first song. So I am breadwinner. There are two different things. I know what I'm telling you. If you have been there, you understand. Now if you have attended the kind of schools I went to, you understand this thing. Um, one week, they don't advise us pay school fees. These days, you go to school. Before you resume, you don't pay school fees. Before Peking go to school, our days with the sofa proprietor, you will talk and tire. One week to exam, they will come begin to use tie, send message, give our parents for house. Through song, to cajole them and pay school fees. You hear something like this. Parents, listen to your children. Sing with me. Try and pay our school fees and give up a sound education. We sound education, we future. Now, when exam will start, on the Monday of exam, it will always be Monday. The, the, Monday, the weather is always cool. They will come sing song with much weather. But we despoil the song. You hear something like this The day is bright, it's bright and fele, fele, ah. Pidele del day of Johnny Joel day is brighty brighty bright and fella waiting the brief fella fella and dele dele inside the song. What is dele doing the song? So on the day of graduation, no matter the activity of that graduation day, and they no sing Igbo song, they never start anything. Igbo people day here, Igbo kwenu, kwenu. My brother don't come home when I vote to. <laughs> you can't hear the children don't come. We white singer with their mama rapper composition like this. Good afternoon, parents and guidance. We are children from primary 4B. We are here to present a special number to you. The title of our special number is Anya Biawala. <laughs> Anya Biawala. Anya biawala, anya biawala, omuka roya une mu yanga, anya biawala, omuka yanga une mu yanga, anya biawala, pip pip, pip pip pip, pip pip, pip pip pip, pip. On the day of vacation, the kind of school you went to, they will call it vacation. We call it kill and go. That day is the day you can do to a senior or whatever. The kind of song you sing, I know it's a moral song, emotional song, or song of war. Oh my ho. Oh my ho. Sway. Where shall I see my ho? Where shall I see my native home? I will never forget my home. My father and my uncle, they are two different people. My uncle is a rich man. My papa no rich. For my uncle's house, they sing lullaby for the picking to sleep. When I know it's a lullaby now, 7.30 p.m., they don't go say, Auntie Joy, go and sing lullaby for Junior to sleep. They will go sing lullaby. True, true, Junior go sleep. 7.30 p.m., my papa putting us to bed, be like, I'm robbery. <laughs> exactly 11.43 p.m., he go carry Koboko come. Jam level dog, bah! Everybody lie down. Close your eyes and sleep. If I hear beam, you will hear wow. Thank you.
Please, all of you, come on stage. May I see you in our face one more time. Quickly, quickly. Thank you. Please put your hands together for them. Quickly, 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 quickly. Remember, this is half bread contestant number one, Amon contestant number two. You see your life. Contestant number three, champion, contestant number four, Mr. Dimpo, and contestant number five, Melanin Tucker. You can start voting now. Please go back. Thank you. Clap for them as they go back. You can start voting now. Hold the music. Hold the music. Thank you. Pastor, I want to tell you people something. The last guy spoke about a lot about school. But Mona, I remember, if you went to schools in the 90s, in the 90s, there's something all schools have. Mommy, in our schools in Nigeria, we have something called class rep or class monitor. If you can relate, say aye. If your school get class rep or class monitor, say aye. There's a difference between class rep and class monitor. Pastor, class rep represent the class. Class rep are usually among first three in class. That's why they make them class rep. They are the leaders of tomorrow. If you graduate from junior secondary school, as a class rep, enter senior secondary school. Now you, they go use do head boy. Now them, they go into house sport, into class competition, into school competition. In fact, if you graduate, enter university. Now you, they go house or rep. Class reps are found in private school. Class rep, now this type of people, children. Class rep, pastor, they, now class monitor. Class monitors, now monitoring spirits. They don't make them class monitors because they are intelligent. They are never among first ten. They make them class monitor because they are twice bigger than their mates. They, they make them class monitor, made that they write names of noisemaker. In fact, if they write your name as class monitor, as cl if class monitor writes your name for noisemaker, you go pay five naira or ten naira. If you can relate, say I. Nothing in this world will ever make a class monitor become head boy. The highest position where they will give you in a labor prefect because they need you made the punish your own mate, made a declare bush during labor. Nothing. It's not now now. Schools these days, the kind of schools we have these days, sir, you will see primary school, three-story building, seven-story building for primary school. In our time, we had no story building. All we had was story book. Ali goes to school. Simbi is a girl. Chingwe Achebe. All these kinds. Story books. There were no, in fact, our time, our schools were in blocks. You now see Jesus, one A, Jess, one B, Jess, one C, Jess, one D. Those were the day E and F. Now, useless children, they know they know book. <laughs> Assembly, they start 7 o'clock. Then they come to school 9 o'clock. Who be you? Where be teacher say you want to punish them? Now, them and principal, they settle scores. What is wrong with you? You say you want to punish them. Those boys, they, are, they know they join courts, but after school, they always fight. Schools, things have changed. Things have changed. Our schools these days, everything has changed. I remember my class monitor back then. I can never forget that guy. His name is Theophilus. We call him Theo. Theo no no book. Boy, get body. So that guy hated anything called noise. Do you know one hear noise? Sir, one day I left my class. I was in Genesis 1B. I come up for Genesis 1B, skip Genesis 1C, enter Genesis 1D just to make noise with my fellow Dundee. Tio fi still write my name for noisemaker. <laughs> now me come the third Tio. Say Tio, I no make noise though. Tio say, eh, my noise went viral. <laughs> I say, when in the head not post my noise, one, no, no. <laughs> I know. Who be that? Have, are you done voting? Are you done voting? You're done? Okay, make I stop him. When I caught my joke, oh. <laughs> but it's all right. Please put your hands together. All right, let's have all the contestants back. Let's have all of you back. Uh -uh. Ma? Okay, hold on, hold on, please. You see? That's why I say, are you done counting? Okay. Please, um, service team, you collect and then you count. You collect. So, I'll bring, now that you're done voting and they are counting somewhere, I'll bring one and the last comedian for tonight. Yeah. I don't talk like, you know, it's not tonight yet. Too. 
Uh, morning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a huge deal when it comes to comedy. He's none of our mates, but he's my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about comedy and ethical comedy for that matter, he has put a face to what comedy really looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best comedians in Abuja. Let's make welcome, Loud Voice! I swear, all these things, all this announcement for you, people will say, I better call and make come out. If you not come out, I may die. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, George. <laughs> Pastor, good morning, sir. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so much for this beautiful initiative. And I'm so happy to be here this morning. Please, a round of applause for yourself. <laughs> this is University of Laughter. So let me take you back into what Christ has actually done when it comes to academics. I want to prove it to you this morning that in mathematics, Jesus was able to prove to us that one plus one is not two, but one by marriage. Am I correct? In English, he was able to acquire the highest degree by speaking the highest number of parables. Am I correct? In chemistry, he was able to turn water into wine without chemical reaction. Am I correct? In biology, you and I know that he was not born with the normal reproduction process. Am I correct? In physics, he was able to disprove the law of locomotion by walking on top of water without sinking. Am I correct? In that same physics, he was able to disprove the law of gravity by ascending to heaven without aircraft. Am I correct? In government, they don't call him ordinary counselor, but wonderful counselor. Am I correct? Even in economics, he was able to disprove the law of marginal cost by feeding 5,000 men with just five loaves and two fishes. Can you celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. You may take your seat. And they always tell people saying our frustration make engineering students go to IT for police station. I say, now let my school go see where somebody they write the exam. You know they look in book, but they write. I say next day. If they copy in neighbor work faithfully. Now in lecture, I enter class here. He say, hey, you stop there. What did they do? With confidence, say, excuse me, sir. I swear to God, now so my neck be. <laughs> Literal say, yeah, poor boy, so now so your neck be. Oh, yeah, you will sit down for your stand up. Come here, man, no fall for your body. As a sharp guy, the guy. Uh, uh. She be, you say, I say, you like me. But say, excuse me, sir, I swear to God, eh, what God cannot do, eh? <laughs> oh, but those days for school, you know, say, if you want to do expo, if you raise hand like this, now, eh? If you do like this, now, eh? Like this, now, eh? And now they do too. My friend tell me, say, if you raise hand, they go cash us. Say, if I just hear and cough one. <coughs> Ma, I said, eh. <coughs> now, wait <a> <coughs> Now, wait This life, don't put your trust in man, oh. Trust only God, oh. Because with the right exam, number one, I call you. <coughs> I said, B. Number two, I hear. <coughs> I said, A. Number three, I call you. <coughs> <coughs> Because I trust the guy. Only me. Use my hand. I kill Shada. <laughs> and this day's nursery school. I don't know what the nursery school don't turn to. You know, so that's the way they grow up. If they say you did nursery school, you did nursery one, nursery two. Eh? You can't go enter primary. These days now go to all these schools. The names they give their classes, I don't understand. I carry my picking, go one school, pay money for them. He come back, finish, ask, and what class are you? The boy look and say, Dad, I'm in reception. I say, at this age, you don't they work for a hotel. <laughs> reception <about> about <laughs> And after paying hugely, some of these boys, eh, they will come they speak some kind of English. People say, go, they shock you as a parent. And they tell you, the English you might begin to speak these days. I can't they fear whether ASU strike, don't they affect nursery school? The boy, you all look me. He said, Dad. I they carry and come out. I said, Dad. With phone, they speak here yeah, English. Dad. I say, yes. He say, where is us going? <laughs> Us going. I said, This boy, no go for my hand, though. I rather spoil everything. 
Now me look and say, son, us, they come out. <laughs> pastor was preaching this morning. Pastor was talking about heaven's GPS. Heaven's GPS. For earth, the location of your church, they tell me whether Google Map will locate that one. This place when I church, I'm happy for now. I don't know yourself. I go on Google Map, you go bring me here. Imagine say, this church day, yeah, yeah. I remember when we came one event for Yaya. Now you the direct Google Map. When we reach AYA now on Google Map, this is AYA. In 300 meters, go straight. Where they go? This is Abacha Barracks. In 400 meters, go straight. Where they go? When we come in Kubo Mechanic Village, now Google Map come they ask me, where are we? <laughs> I tell them, I say, we your village. <laughs> all right, so ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, all of us, we get one friend. Anytime when you buy something, would you always get association with one or two persons? We just say, ah, ah, this is where you buy. How much you buy? If you tell them, you say, ah, they cheat you. Is that true? I say, we get one friend like that now. We'll be three group of friends. Three of us just did. Now, if I buy something, come house. I buy show. Oh, wives too. Oh, your wife, they do one too. Not all the wife. My wife not follow your wife, sir. <laughs> I say I buy show, come on, show. This uh, show now, uh, body spray. The guy just come and say, you buy show? I say yes. How much you buy him? I say two five. Say for sure. No now. Then cheat you. That's his mantra. Anything you buy, you go say I have for this. No now. Then cheat you. I say how much did they say show? You see, I know where they sell them now. How much? You say 800. And the guy go buy them all. He brought it to shop. When the guy bring her, come back, I spray them. The next morning, my heart swell up. <laughs> when I come check with the right for the body, instead of shop, the right show worry. <laughs> I got saved from him. The next person, I got my other friend. He go buy iPhone 14 Pro Max. He come back. Just the happy, you say, oh boy, then give me this phone for 900,000. But the man say, I feel they pay small, small. I say, how much you don't pay him? He said, I don't drop 100,000. The man saying, give me time. Man, take time, pay. Now, better phone. And that guy come house. Ah, ah. You buy iPhone. I say, yes. How much you buy him? He say, ah, 900,000. Say, for iPhone. No, now. Then cheat you. I say, you, you, how much do they buy iPhone? He said, ah, iPhone 15 don't come out now. So I say, come out, this one don't drop. I say, how much be this one? He said, to the Black Friday now, they sell on 70,000. <laughs> see, see, I want to beg you, don't be greedy in life. This guy, when they give me the pay phones, small, small, he go return them. Come collect 100,000, give this guy 70,000, use 30,000, buy a few stuff. That guy go buy iPhone 14 Pro Max. They brought it to me. When they reached out, iPhone 14 Pro Max. I said, wow. 70,000. I said, where are you buying? Say, yeah, yeah, hold up. I said, wow. I said, you don't on the phone. You say, no. The man said, we'll charge him for four days. <laughs> we can't charge this phone for four days. We can on the phone. Normal iPhone. When you own them, you go see Apple where they buy it small. Wow. As we own this iPhone, the first thing we show for the screen is a portable face. <laughs> now that time I make all the class say, my brother, you don't buy wala, 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 wala. <laughs> then this guy himself, when they lead us astray, we can't hear the guy get accident. We rush to the accident scene. We rush and straight to the hospital. When we reach the hospital, Dr. Fian, they say, man, this in leg don't do bad. Don't do very bad. That they need to amputate this leg. We say, How much, sir? The doctor says 600,000. And it's getting bad. We need to do it like now. We contribute like 300. Now we talk, Alpha, give me your ATM. I go collect 300,000. The guy say, How much then charge us? <laughs> we say, 600. Your leg is going bad. They want to amputate it. Say, 600,000 for amputate. <laughs> no, now. They won't cheat you. I said, what do we do? The guy said, I bet carry me to one hospital for my area. I said, where do you stay? He said, yeah, yeah. I will carry the guy to the hospital. Go, yeah, yeah. 
When we reach the hospital, we are not saying we're all a day. The music where they play for the hospital, now we do more the black. We just hear, I go dagara, I go killer, I go murderer, I go killer. I say, ah! Now, <laughs> now here we they come. Now I call the nurse. Now, Abbe, when doctor say, doctor, 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 please, there's a problem. And imagine the doctor come outside. Say, ah, ah. Now, smart thing now. The language the doctor used, I knew there was a problem. He said, now, smart thing now. I said, what you will go do? Say, I go cut him. <laughs> when I hear I go cut him, I don't say, well, I did. I say, okay, how much you go cut him? He said, now, 12, 5, things don't cost. <laughs> now, that time, that guy come look me and say, I don't tell you. There be one cheaters. He said, man, I hold no money, I go pay by myself. And we come out. The next morning, we come back. They don't already cut the leg. Oh, we reach there. We meet the guys sit down. They cry. We say, what's happen? I said, my brother, it don't happen. I say, what's happen? I said, it don't happen. Oh, what's happen? He said, the doctor. <laughs> go use mistake. Go cut the wrong leg. Ah! <laughs> that time, I will come to tell and say, 12 five. For wrong leg, they treat you. Grace me if you love loud voice, make some noise. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. I just like to remind you that after the service, we have a cafeteria where you can have a taste from the north. Can we give it up for our pastor one more time? Thank you. Um, you know, say loud voice, just talk. Don't ever take advice from anybody from Nyanyao. Now, so they advise me, say, we they travel from just, they come Abuja after one event. The guy now told me that I should buy earpiece, that the way I'm playing music with my phone, I'm disturbing people. Now I can't go do mistake, buy the earpiece. I no test the earpiece. I carry and go house in the morning where I want wear. I wear the earpiece. My ear can't they do overheating. Now me, as I can't open the earpiece, now I can't see a radiator wire. Now they use connector. Another day I do mistake. That same guy can't advise me. Say make I buy shoe. I buy sneakers inside the boutique. They write Adidas. I carry and go as they write Ada Ada. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor, let's put our hands together for a man of God. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate white beat. Let's clap for white beat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate Charlie White. Charlie White. God bless you. Thank you for being a blessing. Of course, loud voice. Thank you. Hallelujah. Please, for all the workers in the house, uh, remember the program put together by the elders, our entrepreneurship uh, program to train, empower, and make you productive for yourself and family. So please, today is the last day for registration. Is that all right? Meet your HOT for to do the net to do to do the needful. Is that all right? If you want to be part of that entrepreneurship program as a worker in the Grisby, please meet your um, HOT. Thank you. Uh, like we said earlier on, we start our end of the year prayer, uh, praying for the new year. 2024, by the grace of God, this Wednesday. So please make sure you are in the house. Okay? Um, the, 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 the working on the uh, on the coalition, I played that the uh, IRF works and, uh, and they're able to transmit so that we have to go to tribunal over, over the votes. But they are working on it. So meanwhile, before they finish, ah, uh, uh, Auntie Sarah, you change your clothes. You were wearing your celebration clothes in the morning. Okay. She was 60 in the week. And uh, she just, all our friends, please, can we have some music? Let's let her dance and we pray for her. And then we go. Then by the time we finish that, in next she'll be ready with the result. Praise God. One, two, no, three, you, don't need to, you don't need to dance. You can dance one day. You don't need to go to the back. It's too far. <laughs> uh, uh, just uh, uh. 
Oh, that's from the back. Okay, go outside then. And that's it. Hallelujah. Okay. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My heart is filled with thanksgiving. My heart is overwhelmed with thanksgiving. I thank God for his great faithfulness in my life. <laughs> God has been good to me. And um, like I said two days ago, uh, words are not enough to express my thanks to God. But the good Lord, I know, God that sees the heart, that's our God, that sees my heart, will see my heart and receive my thanks. Amen. Amen. 60 years. And count to death. And I'm grateful to God. And in good health, bless the children, grandchildren, bless with a great family like Grace did. A wonderful pastor, a loving pastor, a God fearing pastor, a God fearing pastor, a very caring pastor. Pastor is particular and specific about each and every one of us. If you leave me, I'll tell you I'm the only one that Pastor loves because that's how. And I know that everybody feels the same. He's yeah. interested in each and every one of us, particularly. He loves me, loves my family like, like Kilo Dish. <laughs> Pastor, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for all that you are. Thank you for what you mean to us. Thank you for the word that is always coming, that is transforming our lives, changing us, causing restorations to come to our lives. Thank you so much, Pastor. And again, I want to say always, like I said, thank you for saying yes to the Lord. I'm sure God had me in mind. That way that you say yes. Thank you so much. And to my family, I love you all. Thank you for the love. I can feel the love. I, I love you right back to everyone. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Congratulations, man. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, we lift our voices in thanksgiving for our dear sister that you have brought this far. We don't take that for granted at all. 
We are here. We are not doing remembrance service here. We are still celebrating life, a life, a blessed life. And so, Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for our future because we know you have gone ahead of her. Thank you for perfecting all that concerns her. In the name of Jesus, her health will not fail. Her mind will not fail. You will strengthen her in her spirit mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you perfect all that concerns her. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our grandchildren. Even thank you for the great grandchildren that we're expecting. For your name alone is glorifying their lives. My father, the years ahead. Thank you because they are more fruitful than the years that have gone before. In the name of Jesus Christ. We use her as a point of contact to everybody in this church, not up to 60. Every one of them will celebrate their 60th birthday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we thank for those who are above her. They will celebrate more years also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the residue, residue of her days will not be denied her. She will be here at 80, even at 90. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank for longevity. I will thank you, Lord God, for your productive, blessed life. It shall be written concerning you as written concerning Abraham. That when Abraham was old and when advanced in years, it was written that the Lord has blessed Abraham in all things. May that be your testimony. As you grow older, as you advance in years, may the Lord bless you in all things. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise for our sister. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Spa. Many happy returns, Spa. Many happy returns, Spa. Hallelujah. She already cut a cake at Epignosis this morning. Okay, praise God. Yes, Thank you. Can you put those hands together for ROG, please? Graceville, it's been an amazing run so far. We've had a great time from the start of the service up until now. Put those hands together for Jesus. So right now, results are out. The beavers worked. The IREF potters didn't fail us because this is Graceville neck. Come on. <laughs> Uh, all the contestants, we need you upstage. Thank you, Loud Voice. Thank you, Charlie White. And above all, our beloved, highly esteemed man of God, please celebrate him. Pastor, thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Can you confirm that this? Thank you. <laughs> That's how we do it internationally. Yeah. Amen. Get deep behind me. <laughs> Stay in your position. I'm super excited. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know that everyone here is a winner. And that's why, Pastor, because of his amazing heart, he has said that everyone will go home with something. So, like I said before, the first position will go home with a whooping sum of 150,000 naira. That's somebody house rent in Nyanya. Yeah. Second position, we go home with an amazing sum of 100,000 naira. That's a plot of land in Pape. Yeah. Pastor, you the empower. My papa don't die. You help me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, third position goes home with 75,000 naira. Please put your hands together. And, ladies and gentlemen, the last two we go home with anointing oil. <laughs> At least, because of how amazing and anointed our man of God is, he said that anointing oil 
will be 50,000 Naira. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to know who the winner is? Okay, we'll begin from number five. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, our fifth position for today goes to contestant number five. I want you to always remember his name. His name is Melanin Toker. Please put your hands together for him one more time. Thank you. Second, I mean, the fifth position, fourth position goes to contestant number. In your life, don't ever make noise in my class. Contestant, guess what? Contestant number four. Nalayo. Second, fourth position goes to contestant number two. Yeah. So, contestant number two and contestant number five. Step this way. Make her know where my problem is. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, second runner-up which is the third position, goes to contestant number... Number... Make some noise! Number four! And ladies and gentlemen, our overall winner for this morning, Grace V, make some noise for... Our winner for the University of Laughter, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a short break. Hold on. Before I announce the winner, please, everybody, rise up on your feet. Everybody. Wait now. We, will not do the, we may not do this next year. If you have a cell phone, raise it up on the camera. On the camera quickly. On the camera of your phone. If pastor they do, I'm who? No camera. On the camera of your phone. Make a video. I will tell you what to say. I want this to go viral. We will post it and tag Graceville Christian Center. So this is what we're going to do. I will say Graceville Christian Center. Casual Sunday. You will shout the yay of the rain can we do that no church they do this thing no you go video yourself so the cameraman you bros can you climb you now do it focus on the church like this we have to do this make sure you post it let's tell the world before i announce the winner i love the way mommy is doing Make a video. So don't forget, I'll say, Graceville Christian Center, casual Sunday, you will scream, the yay of the... Are you ready? Where the cameraman? Okay. Graceville Christian Center, casual Sunday! One more time, one more time, hold on, hold on. Graceville Christian Center, casual Sunday! Make some noise! Thank you. And the winner. Are you ready? And the winner for University of Laughter goes to contestant number three. Champion. His name is Champion. I have waited patiently. I have vision, though I believe. I know I can't. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make some noise! Pastor, only this year, this is the second time he's winning twice. Name the follow person, no. His name is Champion. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Let's do, the, let's do the needful, okay? Please, for the number fifth position. Okay, thank you. For the number fifth position, please, God bless you. Here's our gift for you to you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Say, have a safe journey back. I get to your family. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Number four position, God bless you, my brother. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Number second runner up. That's number third for seventy five thousand naira. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I voted for you, though. I'm serious. Yeah, I voted for him. Yeah, I don't know how they are. You won. I'm just one vote. Next time I will rig. Okay, number second with hundred thousand naira. God bless you. God bless you. God bless Have you. Bread. Have bread. Have bread. <laughs> Hallelujah. For the first position, 2023, University of Laughter, Casual Sunday, please welcome the winner, champion. For 150,000 naira. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations. You master your art. Very good. God bless you. Thank you, guys. Hallelujah. Please, we have gifts for all, every, every one of you coming to church for the very first time. We, we prepare a package for you. If this is your first time in Grace Vicar Center, we have a gift for you. Could you please take your Bible, your bag, and everything you came to church with? We have a drink, a snack, and everything for you. Apart from the food from cafeteria, your food will be reserved. If this is your first time, could you please take your Bible, your bag, and make your way to this hall? Somebody is there to, to welcome you and give gifts from us. They will take about five minutes of your time. After that, you go to cafeteria and have your food. First of all, we have a gift for you. If this is your first time, make your way to the hall. Clap for them as they make their way. Clap for them. Keep clapping for them. So many of them. Keep clapping for them. We are so happy you came. God bless you. Keep clapping for them. Keep clapping for them as they make their way. you we celebrate every one of you celebrate you please uh the cafeteria has been set up and uh, just follow the service team instructions for the food everybody we have 
I can't remember how many rams they killed, but they killed rams in excess of almost a million naira ram. Yeah, so there's nothing you have. You will eat ram until ram begins to come out of your ears. So I just pray that they didn't steal the ram. No, <laughs> because half of them have ended in the pocket of the, those who slayed it. I mean, but I'm telling you, we spent over a million something something buying rams. So you know, so but you know, it is well because last Sunday we had a party downstairs. Uh, epignosis, you know, they stole all the drinks. We still have enough drinks for people, but by the time we go back, to, went back to the water, I mean, it's not there. All the juice, everything. You know, in church, in the church of living God. So when I was preaching on Sunday about being godly, all of you are looking at me as I was I'm a sinner. I'm not a sinner. I know what I'm saying. Anyway, Sha, you will have enough. We make sure everybody has enough to eat. Glory be to God forevermore. So please, if you are coming for the second time to Grace V Christian Center, maybe you came two months ago, a month ago, and you are back again for the second time, we, have, we also prepare a reception in your honor. Please, if that, you belong to that category, we're not going to take more than five, six minutes of your time. Don't worry, cafeteria is well organized. You will still meet your food. We also, even when you go for the second time, you will still have cake, have all those things in addition to what you can eat at the cafeteria. So if this is your second time in Grace V Christian Center, could you please make your, could you take your Bible, your bag, everything you came to church week, and make your way to the, to the brother, waving his hand at the back at that door there. Anybody, this is your second time. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless my brother. God bless you. Clap for them as they make their way. Thank you. Clap for them as they make their way. Over there. Clap for them. Clap for them. They are coming from the back there. God bless you. God bless you. Clap for them. Clap for them. Wow. So many of them. So many of them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Hallelujah. God bless every one of you. A big thanks to the organizers and everybody. And thank you for waiting to the end. Time is about 12.29, 12.30. We didn't do badly with time after all. Praise God. I dwell in the sacred place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. My God, in you I trust. Surely you deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. You cover me with your feathers and under your wings I take refuge. Your truth is my shield and buckler. I am not afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord. Who is my refuge? Even the Most High, my dwelling place. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you have given your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent trample underfoot. Because of love upon you. Therefore you deliver me and you set me on high because I have known your name. I call upon you and you answer me. You are with me in trouble. You deliver me and you honor me. With long life you satisfy me and show me your salvation in Jesus name. Amen. And we say God has me. All grace and earthly favor abound towards us. Therefore, we have all sufficiency in all things and access for every. Hold on. What? Okay. Please, I've just been instructed to instruct you that all elders, pastors, and deacons and deaconesses, please remain on your seat. 
I think your own package will be delivered by DHL. Okay. Okay, want to go? There is a mighty supply for us now. We have rest, restoration, and supernatural experiences on every side. Our incomes multiply. We enjoy its increase, divine difference, multiple celebrations, and this is our year of the rain. God bless you. Have a lovely week. See you on Wednesday. Go and enjoy your cafeteria. Check something. All those to meet with pastor, please move to pastor's office now. All those to meet with pastor, please move to pastor's office now. <laughs>